Welcome. In this lesson, we are going to look at how to estimate confidence interval for variance and standard deviation. Okay. In our basic maths, or we all know that whenever you have a variance, you can convert a variance to standard deviation by taking the square root of it. And we also know that when you have a standard deviation, you can convert a standard deviation to variance by, by squaring it, isn't it? But let's look at how to estimate confidence interval for variance and standard deviation. So to do that, the question is saying that find a 90% confidence interval for variance and standard deviation of the sugar content of IC cup made for sale to students on campus. If a sample of 16 IC cups has a standard deviation of 1.2 milligrams, okay, so let's see how to do this. Now to do this, this is the formula we are going to use. N minus 1 multiplying S squared, all divided by chi right less than variance. This is how we write population variance. We are estimating population variance. Don't forget. If you remember, in one of our previous lessons, we learned something like this. That this is how we write sample mean. This is how we write population mean. Isn't it? This is how we write sample standard deviation. This is how we write population standard deviation. This is how we write sample variance. And this is how we write population variance. Sample variance is sample standard deviation square. And population variance is population standard deviation square. I hope you remember that. Yeah. So we are estimating population variance. This is how it, we write it. Okay. It's important to know that. Now, to do this, we all know our N to be what? 16. This is 16 IC caps. It took a sample of 16. So N is 16. Isn't it? Now, when you look at the question, the question gave us standard deviation of 1.21. So we will know our S. Okay. S means standard deviation. Sample standard deviation. So we know our S. That small S to be 1.21. Isn't it? Now, we need the chi right and the chi left. And to do this, this is what you're going to do. You will find area to the left. And area to the left will give you c plus 1 or 1 plus c addition is commutative c plus 1 divided by 2 now here our c is what 90 percent which is 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 0 0.9 plus 1 all divided by 2 that is 0 0.9 plus 1 all divided by 2. It gives you 0 0.95. In 4 decimal place will be 0, 0, isn't it? 9500. 0, 0. Okay. So, since you know the area to the left, you can use the area to the left to find the what? The chi left. Chi square left. Now, to do this, this is what we're going to do. You take the the chi-square distribution table. Now, what was our area to the left? Our area to the left was 0 0.95. So, we are going to check chi 0 0.95. This is 0 0.950, as you can see. 0 0.95, it means 0 0.95. Okay, so you take this place. Now, before you can also read this, you actually need to find degree of freedom. Degree of freedom is equal to n minus 1 isn't it and what was our n 16 minus 1 which is what 15 so our degree of freedom is what 15 it's needed so you check degree of freedom of 15 you have 15 here degree of freedom 15 and we, we are looking for chi 0 0.95 there's 0 0.95 here so you chase it what do you get? 7.261. Okay, that's your chi left. 7.261. 7.261. That's your chi left. Now, to find chi right, you need the area to the right. Okay. To get the area to the right, you can say 1 minus left. You can say 1 minus area to the left. 1 minus area to the left, which is 0 
will give us let's try it and see 1 minus 0 0.95 it gives us 0 0.05 another way of finding it is by saying 1 minus c divided by 2 let's try it and see i won't write that down but that's just another way of doing it 1 1 minus c 0 0.9 isn't it? Our C was 0 0.9 divided by 2. It gives us 0 0.05. Same answer. You see. So that's another way of getting the this is another method of getting the area to the right. But there is no need quoting this formula anymore. Since you know the area to the left, you can say 1 minus area to the left to get the area to the right. Okay. So it's 0 0.05. So your degree of freedom was 15 as we new right so you check chi 0 0.052 0 0.05 as you can see for the area to the right 0 0.05 trace it against 15 you get 24.996 24.996 here it is 24.996 can you see it yeah so 24.996 so chi right is equal to 24.996 so straightforward you can substitute the entire thing here so we have what 16 as our n minus 1 or as our s 1.21 square isn't it divided by Chi right was what? 24.996. Less than population variance. Less than. The numerator is same. The numerator is the same. Divided by 7.261. So quickly, when we solve for 16 minus 1, multiplying. 1.21 square it gives us 21.9615 all divided by 24.996 less than population variance less than the numerator here is the same as here so you still get same thing 21.9615 divided by 24 point sorry chi left so 7 point 7.261 sorry so you can find it 21.9615 divided by 24.996 You get 0 0.879 less than variance less than when you do this as well 21.9615 divided by 7.261 you get 3.02 that's 025 in three decimal places 0245 will become 025 in three decimal places so this is a confidence interval for the variance okay this is for variance but to estimate confidence interval for standard deviation you take the square root of the both side so the square root of 0 0.879 is 0 0.94 less than bring square here we are now estimating for standard deviation this is a different one you take the square root of the variance to get for standard deviation less than the square root of 3.025 also gives you 1.74 So, be very careful. This is a confidence interval for variance. 
But since we've been able to get a confidence interval for variance, it's, you just take the square root of both sides to get the confidence interval for standard deviation. Okay. Yeah. So, let's go to the second example. Let's go to the second example. Now, in the example 2, they say find a 95% confidence interval for the variance and standard deviation for the nicotine content of cigarettes manufactured if a sample of 20 cigarettes has a variance of 2.56. Now, in this question, we've not been given a standard deviation. We've rather been given a sample variance. Okay. So, let's see how to do this as well. Now, we have n minus 1, same formula, less than population variance, less than n minus 1 multiplying s squared over chi right, chi left. Okay. Now, what are n in this question? Our n is 20, 20 cigarettes, okay? Now, in this question, we've been given variance. You remember variance means standard deviation square. So, variance, standard deviation square, variance, which is standard deviation square, s square is 2.56. So, you know s square straightforward. So, you just come and substitute it there without squaring it anymore like how we did over here. Since you know the variance straightforward, s square. You see, so we find our area to the left. Okay, before then, what would be our degree of freedom? Degree of freedom will be 20 minus 1, which is 19. So, area to the left. Area to the left, as I said earlier, is 1, C plus 1, divided by 2. Our confidence here is what? 95%, isn't it? 95%. So, 0 0.95 plus 1. All divided by 2 it gives us it gives us what 0 0.975 so you can use this to find chi left so to find chi left you take the chi table again we have 0 0.975 you have 0 0.975. And what is the degree of freedom? The degree of freedom was 19. So we have 19 here. You have 19 here. And 0 0.975 is here. So when you check it well, you get 8.907. 8.907. So we have 8.907. To get the chi right you need area to the right which is one minus area to the left one minus this gives you 0 0.025 so you can use these two to find chi what right so you know 0 0.025 0 0.025 is here then you trace it against 19 again just like how we did in the first one that is 32. 32.852. 32.852. 32.852. Yeah. 32.852. So you can now substitute it, right? So what our n? Our n was 20 minus 1. We know s square variance from the question. It, we weren't given standard deviation. If you were given standard deviation, you would have substituted it and square the result, the value. But you've been given variance straightforward, so you substitute this as s square entirely. So 2.56 less than population variance, less than this is divided by chi right is 32.852. 20 minus 1 multiplying 2.56. All divided by chi left is 
So you can take your calculator. 20 minus 1 times 2.56. It gives you 48.64. So here you get 48.64. Divided by 32.852. Less than population variance. Less than. Same thing, 48.64. What you repeat here is what you see as well. So, 8.907. So, when you calculate for it, 48.64 divided by 32.852. You get 1.48 less than population variance less than eight point nine zero seven you get five point four six okay so this is the confidence interval for for the variance so to find a confidence interval for standard deviation, you take the square root of the upper bound and the lower bound of the variance. This is now a standard deviation. You are now estimating standard deviation, so you don't bring square here anymore. So square root of 5.46. So square root of 1.48 gives you 1.21, less than population standard deviation less than square root of 5.46 also gives you 2.34 so this is the confidence interval for standard deviation this is the confidence interval for variance okay but one important thing you need to take note of is that whether you are calculate anything you are doing your chi right is always bigger than chi left when you look at this place the chi right was bigger than the chi left when you look at this place with the chi right was also, it's also bigger than chi left if you find it well that's what you always see so that is the end of this lesson thank you